always remember, the universe has a way of leading you to where you're supposed to be at the moment you're supposed to be there. Let's do this. It took me 20 years to find you. How many people can say that? You are the best kept secret in the universe. And I found you. Which makes me perfect for this job. You really think a black suit is going to solve all your problems? Mm, no, but looks damn good on you. Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Oh, snap! We oh, snap! are a rumor. Recognizable only as deja vu and dismissed just as quickly. Time to prove yourself, Agent M. We may have a problem in London. Welcome to MIB. Move it, I lose it! You will be with Agent H, one of the best ever to wear this suit. Ah! Catching up on my daily meditation. Time for lunch, I think. Are you hungry? It's 9.30. Perfect. Tuesday's taco day. of this planet at risk. If we could all just look right here. Just try. It's gonna be fun. We'll have fun with it. Should be a big red button around here somewhere. Found it. We are the men in black. Looks like the tables have turned. That was an incredible catch. Hey everybody, it's Charlie. We got brand new Thor 4 footage to break down. If you were confused about what's going on here, Tessa Thompson and Chris Hemsworth are continuing in the Men in Black franchise. The trailer has a couple shots that let you know that it's a continuation of the Will Smith franchise, like this is forward in time within that universe. So they're not trying to reboot the Will Smith movies. This is just the next movie after that. It's like Men in Black 4 with different characters in a different part of the world. There are a whole bunch of Easter eggs, a lot of Thor jokes. Obviously, they're going to do Thor jokes because they just did Thor Ragnarok together. Why wouldn't they lean on that just because that movie was so successful and that's what he's known for. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. This is coming out June 14th next year, so in between Avengers Endgame and Spider-Man Far From Home. So even though it's not a Marvel film, it will probably feel like a Marvel film just because there's so much Marvel stuff happening in that part of the year. The basic premise of the movie is, is that the Men in Black is a worldwide organization. They have branches in every major city. So this is following a couple different agents. Tessa Thompson is the new one that learns about the organization. She's just smart enough. She decodes the clues and confronts them about it. Emma Thompson inducts her at the same place where all the Will Smith movies took place in New York City. She goes to the entrance where Will Smith used to go. Emma Thompson is the new head of that branch. I don't know what her agent designation is, but they have a couple of jokes about giving her the tiny small gun that Will Smith got thinking that it wasn't very powerful but it gave off this giant energy blast knocking him back. There's even a couple of paintings on the wall depicting the events of the Will Smith movie. That's just to let you know that they're not rebooting anything. Like all this stuff still happened. It was just a long time ago in the past. They make a couple of jokes about the tropes of the Men in Black franchise like the actual black suits that they wear while they're suiting her up. There's a lot of Liam Neeson voiceover dialogue. He's the one that gives us the plot about a mole being inside the agency. And that's sort of like the overarching plot is there's a mole in Men in Black threatening the safety of the planet. He tells us Chris Hemsworth is one of the most legendary agents out of the London branch. And he has a couple of very Thor moments when you first meet him. Like he has this couple really badass takedowns. But then in a very Valkyrie Thor type moment, she catches him sleeping on the job and acting a little bit like Thor. Like, oh, 930. All right. It's Taco Tuesday. Let's go get some lunch at 930 in the morning, bright and early. So early on, I'm kind of wondering if it's actually Liam Neeson that winds up being the mole because he's the one that's sort of driving this plot. And they want you to think like this is this amazing branch where nothing has gone wrong. You have this legendary agent 
H, Chris Hemsworth's character, that seems like maybe he doesn't quite see everything, so maybe he wouldn't see the clues that Liam Neeson's character was the mole. But the way Agent N, Tessa Thompson's character, balances him out is that she does seem like a bit of a detective because at the beginning of the trailer, they let you know that she was able to find the clues to learn about the existence of the men in black. So she's already really good at doing detective work. Thor in the movie seems like more of a warrior type, so maybe he's not so great at doing detective work. When you see her in the London branch, she walks past the little alien cockroach characters that you always saw making coffee during the Will Smith movies, so they're back. I'm sure there's a couple other aliens from the Will Smith movies that will show up in the background too. But they unveil the car, it's a Lexus, I'm sure Black Panther would be proud. I'm assuming that Lexus just wanted to sponsor the movie and that's why they're using those cars. But it is kind of funny because they're big in the Marvel movies now. They give you a couple car jokes about Tessa Thompson learning about all the James Bond style weapons hidden all over the place. So they start pulling off pieces and assembling guns. This is actually a shot right out of Thor Ragnarok when Loki and Thor hold up their weapons in unison and start firing. Hello. Hi. So even though there are a lot of Thor Valkyrie jokes in the movie, there's also a lot of visual references to Thor Ragnarok as well, which I'm happy that they did because this franchise is all about those comedic moments. So it really does lend itself to that self-referential style of humor. Them on the air bike definitely feels like it could be out of a Thor movie. There's a joke about the Neuralizer. I don't know which city they're supposed to be in here. There's a quick montage of them traveling to a bunch of different places around the world. It's Men in Black International. They'll be traveling everywhere. So obviously they tried to visit as many big locations for the movie as possible. Couple more fight jokes about surprise arms. This is just one of those Men in Black tropes where it's like, well, you know, I look human, but really I have like a thousand different things going on with my body that you don't know about. Then they make a joke about the big red button trope from the Will Smith movies, and they even hold it for a minute like they're not gonna do it. Then it kicks in, turns out they're definitely doing it. Then they end on what is probably the most direct reference to Thor Ragnarok ever, where he picks the tiny hammer up, throws it at the alien, and the alien catches it just like Hela. It's not possible. Looks like the tables have turned. That was an incredible catch. So if it wasn't clear, there's obviously a lot of chaos happening in the world of Men in Black during the course of this movie, but the real goal is, is to find out who the mole in the organization is. I'm still wondering if it winds up being Liam Neeson, because it just seems like they're setting us up for that kind of reversal. Like, oh, this badass agent that's been working under him for this whole time just did not decode the clues that his superior was pulling a fast one on them for some crazy reason. So let me know in the comments, who do you actually think the mole is inside the Men in Black organization? Do you actually think that it's someone that we saw in this trailer? Just because it feels like it's going to be a big reversal at the end of the movie. But what'll happen is, is there's supposed to be a couple more big trailers before the end of the year, so I'll try to get through everything. Leave all your requests in the comments below. Click here for a new Spider-Man Far From Home and watch Tom Holland be ridiculous. And click here for my Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse post credit scene video. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.